after this diagram structure we will create no database according to this into the sql server so first time i will create database in sql server and the and this table master table artist table into the sql server so what we will do here in sql server and uh, right click on databases and create new database so i will give name to this database with db db for database it's not necessary you can give direct your name to the database so artist info is my database and i have created by clicking on ok so you can see here the database artist info has been created successfully so first of all i'll create new table my master table into this database so first column is id integer i can keep this id but that uh, it should not be null so that's why i'm going to uncheck this so there would be primary key. so i can set directly by clicking on this row and this is the primary key so i have set primary key to this id so it would be unique so if i want to generate this id automatically uh, auto increment so i can set its property identity specification yes so id will be generated automatically with increment okay so next is the application date uh, according to the diagram its data type is date time next is name name is watcher and 50 i can store up to the uh, 25 for 20 so this is the character limit so 25 for 30 is fine for the name f name watcher 30 and what was the after for the name so you can see here cnic dov so cnic if we are going to store cnic with dashes then we can keep again watcher and cnic limit is 20 and dov is the date time so you can see here <coughs> So you can see here I have entered all the fields. So you can see here I have entered all the fields CNIC DOB gen, gender ID integer cell number watcher 15 phone book 15, uh, 10 major work and the artist will describe here the, uh, the work details so that's why I keep here the watcher max for the maximum character length and the status ID integer and the current status id is integer district id so i will uh, import these tables from the excel sheet that okay, you can see here we have i have designed already i have created these tables in excel sheet so i will import them directly to the sql server so this was basically the master table i have created in the SQL Server. So district ID, address, finance ID, dependent ID, center ID, and then I enter these four or five fields uh, directly as category. Store this information through the checkboxes. This is the user ID. Uh, whatever user will enter this information, his ID will be stored in against this column entry date and data entry date will be stored here so date time and the remarks user can enter the remarks so i will save this table so when i'll save so we can we will give it name to the tbl underscore you can give direct name to table master table it's up to you so 
my style is TBL for table and artist master table master table. you can see here the master data table is created successfully so, <clears throat> so at the moment you can see here the table is empty and the all the fields are generated successfully so what I'll go do next I'll import the rest of the tables 